As usual embargo for ten fifty tonight, and um, more courses. Questions in Spanish, just for the embargo. Thank you. Hello, Pep. Hi. Um, injury situation to start with, please. Things are looking good. What? Sorry. The injury situation. Things are looking good. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Some of them are better. Fernandinho, Sterling are be much better. I don't know. We have a few two training sessions. We're going to decide, of course, on Sunday. And Fabian Delve is like this, like that, so... Uh, today was off, so I don't know exactly what's the situation. How important is it going to be now to have those kinds of players back and to have a, a fully fit squad as, as we go into the, the closing stages of the season now? Well, we need all the squad, all the season. Sometimes during the season uh, you have injuries, but we need all of them, yeah. Much better they come back than, than staying the injured. And it gives you choices as well. It gives you opportunities, different ideas for different teams. No, no, no. 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 Um, there's been some uh, reports this week that your agent is in town to discuss the possibility of a, a new contract here at, at Manchester City. Is there anything you can tell us about that? Sometimes the journalists does make a bad. Uh, they receive bad information. My agent is not in town. Was not. Is not will not be in town the next weeks. But as far as your situation here is concerned, now that you've won your first trophy, you're closing in on a, a second. Do you feel as if this is the kind of project you would like to be involved in for a long time? You have to speak with a journalist about my agent is here or not. They know this information or this journalist more more information than me. in the, the relegation zone, but are you surprised to see so many teams that, that could still be in trouble this season down at the bottom? In the bottom? Yeah. I, I don't know what happened in the past, really. So, uh, I think today the football, every every season, is everything is more complicated and tired, so... So, uh, but I think in all the, in all the leagues in Europe, at the end, every party plays to win the titles, to be in the Champions League, to be in Europa League, to stay in the in the league and no relegation zone. So in all the leagues, it's always happened until the last four, five, six fixtures, everything can happen. <coughs> the, the match tomorrow between United and Liverpool is being built up as a, a big game, yet you're so far in front. Do you pay any attention to that? Because it's a battle to... Well... Well, it's a big derby, it's a classic, I think, in England. United-Liverpool uh, is one of the most exciting games by far. So, the history from, from both teams are amazing in the 80s, 90s, so it's stop. Uh, we have training session and after training session we start the game and of course it's a big game. And normally the big games we are the light to, to watch it. Yeah, and, and in two weeks we have a game against United, so that's why in two weeks uh, you know, in three weeks or one month, we have a game against United, so that's why we're going to look at that game, sure. Do you take any particular pride in the fact that whilst it is a big game, you are so far in front of them that it's irrelevant almost to your season? Well, we have to I have a bad, a bad experience to play on Monday's games. So we have to be focusing on a game in a Stoke because the Stoke away is always complicated. They are f fighting to be in the Premier League. Though that's why I can imagine how tough it will be. You have to be focused on that. In the situation this season is, I think, is an exceptional. So because the distance that is not normal in 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 the in the beginning of Mars. But uh, what I said before, you know, so before the Basel game, so it's almost done and almost done, and the people don't believe me. I know that, but we lost one too. So in the Premier League is quite similar. It's almost done, but still we are not the champion. The champions are still Chelsea. And we have to take the points as soon as possible, knowing when we have, you know, the opportunity to, to the situation is not going good, you have another chance, another chance. But so what's going to happen in quarterfinals, it depends on our level, will be so important how is our level in the Premier League. And in the Premier League will help us in the quarterfinals. So that's why you have to be focused on what you have to do. 
uh, and we're going to see the game United Liverpool like a spectator. And it would have happened if the distance was minor or less distance or even in second position. So it's a big game, and always the big games, always we are delighted to, to watch it. Um, just looking at the schedule after the international break, if City were to reach the semi-finals of the Champions League, it could be 12 games in six, six weeks. Does it give you more chance of success in the Champions League if you can get the, the title won earlier? I don't think about the semi-finals of the Champions League because we are in quarter-finals. Still, we, we don't know which team are going to face, are going to play. So, uh, I know everybody want to anticipate it, you know, the, the situations. What's going to happen in one month? What's going to happen if we win? Everybody thinking about when we are going to win the title. The best example is two days ago. Nobody thought we could lose against Basel. We lose against Basel after 15 months. So, just be relaxed, be calm, and thinking about the Stoke City. And after go uh, to train in Abu Dhabi because we're going there to tra make a training sessions. And after international break, hopefully the players come back safe without injuries and 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 Everton and and start to qualify us. And the, our performance dictated will dictate it. What you have to do in the in the future and and and, and so on. I, I was just going to ask you about Abu Dhabi uh, there actually. What can you achieve from the, those few days over there? Instead of training here with this, uh, where we were ten months or eight months fighting with the weather, with the weather. So going there, training the same way but in better conditions, and see our chairman and and to be there. We we did it last season to be together and prepare and after international break the last month and a half, two months of competition. Pep, how do you prepare for Stoke on a Monday night? It's always a difficult place to go. Well, it's so tough. I saw this morning a little bit about with the team of Paul Lambert and and they have an argument because you know perfectly Chopomuting and especially Shakiri. Uh, we were together in Bayern Munich and, and Joe Allen is a is an exceptional player and they are strong where a lot of set pieces and <coughs> always a tough game in Stoke City. The people have spoke about that before I came. We were lucky last season we won there in the beginning of the season but always complicated and when we face teams when they fight to you know to stay in the Premier League it's you cannot imagine how complicated it is. Sometimes more complicated sometimes when the tipos they are you know in a better position in the league. So in, 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 in Monday, I don't like to play in Monday because the weekend everybody's involved and when the, the, the people say, okay, the weekend is over, the, the, this, this week you no know more games, we have to play. And, and I don't know if the players can be ready, you know that? But we're going to work on that these two days. Okay, we'll take a question in Spanish. Hola, buen día, Pep. Uh, desde la distancia, te sorprendes como a tu tom, la temporada del, del club, del grupo como al Girona, y si eh, con que tenéis jugadores adictos, has visto algún partido? Bueno, es increíble, realmente es increíble que en lo que han llegado a fe. Es decir, todos esperaban que se salvés por la implicación emocional que tenían por el club y porque con ella me llen, el domingo el Carlos Panchar van a separar del club, son de Yadal, de la parte de Girona. Uh, I tots esperàvem doncs, que se salvessin, però, però no el mes de març. És, eh, el que ha fet Pablo Machín és increïble, però no aquesta temporada, sinó fa, des que va agafar. És a dir, l'equip que estava a segona, a segona B, el va salvar, i en tres anys seguits van estar per pujar, per pujar, finalment ho van fer. I no és la flor d'un dia, no, va ser una, no és una qüestió de... Bé, hem fet una bona temporada, una bona mitja temporada. Però tenia quatre anys extraordinaris. Felicitar-los... Eh, eh, i seguir, seguim això, vull dir. Només, només queda que treus el barret, ho han fet increïblement bé. Um, I wonder if you are following the, the season of Girona, one of the clubs belonging to the City Football Group, and from the distance, are you surprised about their performance this season? Well, to be honest, it is incredible what they have done so far this season, because everyone expected them to, to stay in the first division, but uh, honestly, uh, 
did it in the month of March, so so much ahead of the, the end of the season. It's uh, um, unbelievable. It's amazing. So congratulate, obviously, Pablo Machin, uh, the manager. He's done an amazing job, but not only this season, since he took over the, the position of a manager four years ago. He has uh, done an amazing job in, in the last four years, so just congratulate them for, for the success. Hola, Pep, por aquí. Eh, tú que fuiste jugador, no sé si puedes entender un poco la frustración que puede estar pasando Neymar ahora que se fue, quizás hace un proyecto, a intentar ganar cosas y se va en octavo de final. Y en España se está hablando de que podría quizás volver al Barcelona. ¿Te lo imaginarías ahí, de vuelta? No, tengo idea. Prefiero no comentar, no tengo ni idea. I want to ask you uh, about Neymar. There's rumors that he could go back, for instance, to Barcelona after the defeat of PSG in the Champions League. Do you can you understand his frustration or his eventual frustration for the for the failure of of PSG? I have no idea about it, and I prefer not to comment. English to make it easier. Yeah, yeah of course. I don't know if you heard today. Arsene Wenger was talking about sleepless nights and suffering and how bad he's. Uh, is feeling in the two years at City has it been any moment at all where you gone through all that because you all seem to at some point gone through things like that I cannot speak about all the managers but I can suppose it all the managers when we don't win the games we sleep less and we do, are not good so I don't know the other ones I'm on, on my side but I understand completely, completely what Arsen said so so, but I think all the managers, uh, the managers suffer a lot when, when they are not achieved the results that we expect every single game. In the same time, when we win, we are so, 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 so happy. So our, our position is always, you know, an extreme. But I think the experience gives you more, more patience and, and to handle better the good results, the bad results. But at the end, when you don't win, always you suffer. Always. Guys, for an embargo, please, for 10.30.